off to the races. It's another beautiful morning on Last Mountain Lake. Good morning. Lane from Mount Man Outdoors. Today I'm fishing with at B. Shinsky. And we are going to pattern some early season walleyes. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, we were nearly doubled up, first thing. Oh, how's that for first fish of the day? <laughs> Beautiful. I'm gonna get this fella unhooked and we're gonna get her back in the water. Nice. Good job. And straight back home. Oh, so full of pep. These fish are post spawn and they are putting on the feed bag right now. That did not take long at all. I missed mine. God. It is early June and lilacs are blooming. If you know, you know. Walleyes are scattered right now, but they are definitely putting on the feed. I am Lindy Riggin and here we go again. Oh yeah, they're just absolutely cruising with it today. When they're feeding heavy, you don't have to feed them for a long time. You just risk them taking it deeper. So as soon as I feel that tension. Daughter, swimming back at me. The nice beautiful thing about these St. Croix rods is super fine tip. You can actually feel them out before they feel you. Another beautiful fish. Oh boy. I can already tell if we are going to be in for a great day. Look at that. Little chunk. Ooh. Some spawning marks there. Look how chunky he is though. <laughs> nice. Beauty. Right back. Still got my leech. They're shallow today. Beautiful. We all know they go back easier out of the shallow water. They're still pretty roughed up and stressed from the spawn. So we're gonna try and take it easy on them. Running a bare bones Lindy rig today. Nice jumbo leech, courtesy of Pokey's tackle. As always, boys setting it up. And we're gonna run and gun, and we're gonna try a few different patterns today. Bradley might show you his jigging skills. We'll have to see. What did you do, Bradley? What did you do? Oh, it's a tank. There we go. Doubled up. That feels like a better fish. What's yours? Oh, yeah. So scrappy right now. Northern from Doug, you'll be lucky if you get the right color lane. Oh, man. Having some long forceps is so important. There's one, there's two. There we go. Apparently, Merc is the big hang up right now. What motor you got on I asked for a 225XS and then a 15 kicker. kind of fishing in tight in a rocky shoreline and the bird does a really good job of penetrating catching the fish that are between the rocks. If you're gonna invest your money on anything on your boat, money on a good graph is money well spent.
we call dinner. Tacos. Yeah. Fish tacos. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. I guess that guy's getting eaten. <laughs> Rest in peace. That didn't take long. <clears throat> yeah, they're taking it. Boy, oh, I missed them. <laughs> You are in trouble. He's going to eat you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Yeah. You're feeding? But it's a little one. How do you know? As I could tell. He says it's a little one. All I get is rocks. I got a rock. Don't blow it. For the love of God, don't blow it. He didn't blow it. Don't look that little. How did you get fish and I just get rocks? I got a rock. What is going on down there? Yeah, it's got a little weight to him. You require my assistance? It's taking me to the depths. You are getting absolutely muscled by a medium fish. Poor Nets seen better days, eh? Anybody out there is watching, we really need a new net. Tough times, inflation's hit everything. We're out here fishing for gas money. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you at? 4-4. Four, four. Oh. 4-4. Four, four. Spoke too soon. I don't know, I'm not getting nothing over here. Dad keeps taking all my biggest, juiciest leeches. Yeah, I do. Relax. <gasps> uh. Mm. Uh. Oh, Brad. Not the one. Not the one. This is my supper. Oh, God, no. That's even small for supper. Small. It's even too small for the suppers. Let them go, let them grow, you always say. Yep. Oh, danger zone. Welcome to the danger zone. A quick tip, when you get your bite, drop it back towards them. So it feeds easier. It's not going to feed them very long today because they are obviously on the chew. Feel it? Set. Same size. Just another cookie cutter 20 something inch walleye. They're so scrappy right now. I got it. That's good. Okay. Brad, can you pop that for me, please? Super easy. What was that? What? What? What was that? <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. He has barfed on us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Like perfectly white shirt right now. Come on. Gross. Let's get out of here. Barfing walleyes. <laughs> Wrong age class of fish. All we're seeing here is like 20 inches. 
I don't know where they were during the tournament. Stop. That's a giant. That's a monster fish. What are you doing? Bottom left. Tuned up? No, the other one. IMX Big Fish Slayer. This guy. Weapon. Oof. Getting jiggy. That thing is a weapon. Getting jiggy with it. Not today. Hey, Gunner. Around. How does that feel, buddy? Feels okay. <laughs> it's got some weight. Pretty good head shakes. Had to change up our pattern from the morning. They haven't really been hitting our live bait rigs. Bradley popped a jig on, and look at where it didn't take long at all. Nice head shakes. Bad one. Storm brewing in the background. Just dragging that hole. <laughs> Inhaled that. Just like that. It's a beautiful fish. Well, if you do that again, I'll be putting on a jig. A few moments later. What did you do? Again? Brad? Good thing we stopped our fish tally. Little or big? Got some weight. It was fighting really small at the start, but it's got weight. I'll get on top of it. It's pretty important to try and stay on top of them. It really helps keep them pinned. Especially when you have something precarious like long lining a jig. I'm gonna spot lock right on top. Oh yeah, it's big, it's big. Oh, it's big. <laughs> Bradley, what did you do? Oh, it's a tank. Look at that. He just mounted. it. Giant. That's a hog. Grab the bump board. Perfect hook set. Oh, what do we got? Uh, 30 and an eighth. Here you go, buddy. Yep. So we had to change up our patterns today. Beauty. Oh, nice fish, Brad. We're going to get this baby right back. She's starting to put get a belly on her. Gorgeous. Hang on. That is a beautiful fish. Nice, buddy. <laughs> Honky. Right on. 
what we do it for, man. Well, what do we got? Maybe half an hour before that storm? Nice. Pre storm front walleyes. Well, I have to throw a jig on after watching this. This is. You okay? <laughs> Next piggy you hook, I'm cutting your line. Don't do it. Don't do it. Gone. We had a little bit of a lull today. I was been live bait rigging all morning and that was consistently putting fish in the boat. We had zero wind and you would think that live bait rigging would be the key to that, but after a big lull, Brad swapped on a jig and just goes to show sometimes making a small change can make a big difference. He's fishing a two mac, a bite me jig from Pokey's Tackle Shop. If you don't know Wayne Two Mac, you should because he makes some beautiful, beautiful jigs. Yeah, we just basically switched up and we're just sliding along low and slow, pulling into it, and it's working, so. Oh, we did it again. Weapon. Absolute weapon. How's that one feel, Mike? It's just, it was just thrashing its head. Well, he's just sitting right on the brake line. Bradley was on the ball with the jig change today. Says it might be really big. Luckily, you have the best net man in the business. The nice thing about going into pokies, they're always giving us new colors to play with. Thinking Bradley found a winner. <laughs> oh, another hog. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. right on the line. Another beautiful fish. Nice jigging, bud. Beauty. Gorgeous chunk. So if anybody wants to get out and catch fish like this, definitely want to give Mountain Man Outdoors a call. If you want to catch like fish like this, you got to give Pokey's Tackle a call. <laughs> because they got all the good stuff. Everything we're using today, we found in their shop. Sonars, trolling motors, jigs, leeches, you name it. Even the lines Ooh. spooled on our reels. <laughs> no secrets with us. We're just out here to help you catch fish. So, see if we can make this happen a little bit longer, but otherwise, we're gonna try and get home before this storm breaks. <laughs> to the boat. Yeah, it's not like yours. That's for sure. Is it not sure what? Maybe. I don't think so. I think this is just a courtesy fish. Make me not feel so bad after the spanking I got this afternoon. It's bobbing, but it's not. That's a little rod, too. I absolutely love this six-foot IMX. I like rigging with my St. Croix, but I love jigging with my G. Loomis's. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did he do? You were so he was straight so up. mad. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Pop, pop, pop. Can't get it. <laughs> oh, black jig. Yeah, that's one for the ball. Eater. There's our last one for dinner. Try and have one last feed. Before the water gets too warm. I haven't enjoyed a fish fry yet this year. Jig, eh? Jig it. <laughs> Dialed. Oh, he can't be stopped. 
It's gonna get a hat trick today. I'm calling it right now. Okay, I'm chasing it. Here we go. So how are you swimming that jig, Brad? Just popping it gently off bottom, letting the slack let, so it slows down the hook just to give those fish that might be chasing the opportunity to bite a stationary presentation. So you're really not moving it too much at all? No, I mean we're pretty well only going about 0 0.4 mile per hour with the boat. This guy just doesn't want to come out from under the boat. Well, we really turned our day around in a hurry. Oh, that was sketchy. Nice one again. Oh. oh my goodness. I don't know if he's quite as big as the last two, but darn close. 28, I say that would be a good guess. 27. 27-incher. Awesome. <laughs> big belly. Beauty. Kid is on oh. fire. Spunky. Nice. Something's happening here. We're we'll getting spanked. Just doing captain things. Just doing fisherman things. <laughs> See? That's why I bring fisherman. Jigging. How's that one feel, Scraddles? It's okay. It's as big as the other ones. But either way, every walleye we can get before this rain comes in is a bonus. Oh, there's another nice one. Oh. Sheesh. When you're hot, you're hot. Just lipping them, eh? What is this? <gasps> We're just going to get this fish out of the boat because we do not need that in the boat. That's some kind of tapeworm. <laughs> Here she goes. Gone. That was weird. <laughs> That's actually not the first one I've seen this year like that. I don't know. Maybe if somebody following knows what's going on, I'd like to know in the comments what that would be. But Also, don't forget, like our channel, subscribe to our channel, follow our guys, Poke Tackle and Mountain Man Outdoors. We're posting tons of big fish this year. Bradley's hot, so watch for things to come. And yeah, we've got more guiding to do here soon, so expect a lot of big fish pictures coming up. Think we can get one more, Brad? Yeah. Let's go. Yep. We got it in us. I'm sticking with my rig. I'm going down on this ship. <laughs>